Hi YouTubers, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. Peng, P-E-N-G, has a couple of very interesting videos on his uh, aluminum air uh, primary cell construction. He had them hooked up in uh, series to boost the voltage. He reported about a 0 0.80 volt potential open, uh, open voltage. Um, along his lines, I constructed a similar cell but I am using ground activated carbon with some manganese dioxide catalyst and I am using my gels here's some of it, you'll see it in a previous video the gels are electrolytic and they're made from uh, carb carbomethyl uh, starch and uh, chitosan uh, over a range of pHs they will be uh, electrolytic either plus charge, negative charge uh, depending on the pH. Here I've uh, brought it to pH 10 so you have carboxylates, negatively charged electrolyte and not surprising that when I set this up this way I'm getting 1.51 volts and that's on a single cell and uh, I have uh, on the bottom of the base you can't see it here but a piece of aluminum foil for contact and uh, you can't see the uh, membrane on the bottom, but I have a starch uh, electrolyte with chitosan, but I have a membrane at the bottom which separates the aluminum from the activated carbon underneath that stainless steel plate, and that membrane is a thin film made from gelatin and some uh, glycerol plasticizer, not soluble at least right away in water and that's what I'm using on the bottom not paper toweling and that gel is going to allow very great uh, ion mobility um, I expect and of course that's what takes place in the electrolyte uh, 1.51 volts let's see what the open uh, the short circuit is I'll bring it down to uh, 200 uh, milliamp scale that's a hefty volt uh, current there and it's going up it's off scale so that's over 200 milliamps uh, short circuit. Now I have to perfect this. I've got to put holes on the side to let good air flow. It's got to come in contact with the activated carbon. But uh, the gel electrolyte should work very well with this. And that's my main research area, the construction of uh, electrolytic gels from chitosan that's derived from a chitin insect exoskeleton they get it from crabs too and shrimp uh, uh, that's a major source of it it's the second most abundant carbon compound on earth uh, chitin so this is chitosan biodegradable blended with uh, our a two carbon carboxyl modification of water soluble starch it's cross-linked with glutaraldehyde to uh, enhance hopefully mechanical and chemical stability over time Let's go back now to the voltage. We'll go to open voltage. And uh, I'm sure it's dropped. Not that bad. It's going back up now. Fast, too. Oh, boy. 1.42 volts. That's pretty good. Now, how stable will the battery be over days or weeks? That's what we've got to find out. Thanks for watching. And I'll give you information below on how I made this gel electrolyte. 1.45 volts right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.